Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today, we've got some fantastic news to share regarding the latest release from the Garuda Linux team. Garuda Linux Spizaitis has just dropped, and it's packed with exciting changes and updates. Garuda Linux has been known for its diverse range of additions and flavors, but with this latest release, there have been some interesting changes in the ISO offerings. The team has made the tough decision to drop a few additions from their lineup. The additions affected by this change include Mate, LXQT Quinn, KDE Git, and Wayfire. The reason behind this is quite simple. They were either not receiving the necessary maintenance or were missing a- Here's the great part. Garuda Linux is open to contributions. If someone in the community wants to step up and maintain these additions, or even provide a customized community edition, they're more than welcome to do so. This is what makes open source communities thrive, the power of collaboration. Now let's talk about the exceeding new addition to the Garuda Linux family, the Hipperland edition. The Hipperland edition features the Hipperland Wayland compositor, and it's all about fancy looks and those beautiful blurry windows that we all love. It's a perfect fit for Garuda Linux's aesthetics, and it marks the end of Plymouth. Garuda Linux used to provide customized boot splash animations through Plymouth, but with this release, they've decided to no longer include Plymouth by default. Instead, you'll get to see the terminal output during boot, which can be quite satisfying in its own right. Garuda Linux has always been about finding and using the best tools. You might remember them introducing BAT to replace CAT or ESA instead of ALS. And now they've introduced UGREP as the drop-in replacement for GREP. UGREP is not just another search tool. It comes with some amazing features. If you're not already familiar with UGREP, I highly recommend checking it out. For those who are always eager to try out the latest and greatest, here's some exciting news. Garuda Linux is now providing early builds of Plasma 6 through a dedicated Chaotic RKDE repository. This means you can get a sneak peek into how Plasma 6 is shaping up. The initial release is scheduled for February 2024, but do keep in mind that these are experimental master branch builds, so only the most adventurous should embark on this journey. Now let's talk about the behind-the-scenes magic. Garuda Linux has made significant infrastructure changes to improve the overall user experience. They've merged their two dedicated servers into a bigger, more efficient setup. Instead of separate VMs, everything now lives in declarative Nixos containers with shared resources. This has resulted in a noticeable boost in speed for web services, including the forum. In an effort to reduce the general load on their servers, they've also begun moving some of the static content to Cloudflare pages. This includes their website. The goal is to make the experience faster and more efficient for all users. They've introduced a Lemmy instance in response to the API changes of Reddit. This is part of their commitment to help open source ecosystems grow. They've also been offering Mastodon for a while. On a slightly different note, their NVIDIAS instance had to be retired due to issues with proxy support. However, they're actively working on solutions to ensure video streaming works smoothly. And there you have it, folks. The Garuda Linux Spizaitis release brings a wave of exciting changes and updates, from new additions and improved infrastructure to fresh replacements for core applications. Garuda Linux continues to evolve and push the boundaries of what a Linux distribution can offer. If you're a Garuda Linux user or just a Linux enthusiast, let us know in the comments what you think about these updates. And, as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.